series on the Cyclops Synthesizer by Sugar Bites. In this concluding episode, I'm going to talk about three things. The gator control, the AB knob, which works in conjunction with the wobble knob, and the sound control knob. To start with, the gator control provides triggers for the envelope generator. I'll make some adjustments in the release time here. So by sustaining a note, you get a multiple set of triggers here. You can set the scale of those triggers in this menu here. Now I'd like to move on to the AB control. As I said, the AB control works in conjunction with the wobble knob. So let's go to the assignments page and select the wobble knob targets. Here you can see an A and a B. These correspond to two different sets of parameter values. You can set parameter values for the A position and then smoothly interpolate to the B position by rotating the amount knob. Control of the AB knob can either be done by recording a sequence or by drawing directly in the sequence window. Let's use these knobs in a musical example. First, we'll switch off the wobble knob movement and also movement of the amount knob. Here, I've assigned the wobble knob to control the cutoff point of a filter. Then we'll set up a totally different parameter value for position B by rotating the knob and making the adjustment. Perhaps switching to a different filter. And in fact, let's have it switch oscillators as well. And in position B, we'll have the cutoff point of the second filter controlled by the wobble knob as well. Now we can record some knob movement by activating the red record button. And now each note will start the playback of that sequence. You might have noticed the sequencer display kick in when you press that red record button. You can edit or draw in a whole new sequence on the graph there. When you activate the hotkeys button, you can actually select between different sequences with the lower notes of your keyboard. I'll play the lowest note, and then the next note, and etc. And then you can program clever sequence changes with your hotkeys. Here's an example of some A-B settings. And then I've set up a sequence of animation. I'd like to discuss the sound knob now. The sound knob, a little bit like the A and B knob, will allow you to smoothly change from one state to another. You can set your parameter targets and then smoothly change from zero or center position to the extreme values that you've set by rotating the knob clockwise. You can see the values change here. So you see, as I rotate the sound knob to the right, we get more extreme settings moving closer to the values that I've set here. Well, that concludes the Cyclops series. I hope you enjoyed it. Don Garbutt saying bye for now.